going on everybody? Steve here at Rake and Profit over at RakeandProfit.com. Coming back to you with another video. And today we're going to talk about how to find more profitable inventory with want ads. Ooh, they're very important. Brandon is notoriously known for putting out these want ads, which uh, you use to be able to find more inventory in your business, right? Yeah, I essentially just uh, spam a bunch of <laughs> Facebook tag sale groups. Essentially, that's really what it is. So I thought you did it more like on Craigslist or like LinkedIn. I don't use Craigslist at all. So you're all. using strictly Facebook. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So let's share with people exactly what you're doing because I know you've been using this strategy for a while and you essentially just get people calling you, messaging you, and bringing you inventory. And I know a lot of people who are watching are used to going to thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets. You know, most resellers are used to going out and actually having to search for items, right, which right. is getting harder and harder. You know, obviously YouTube channels, Facebook groups, cell phones, everybody has the internet. It's easy now to kind of know what's valuable, and what's not. there's a lot not. of people doing it. There's so many people doing it. There's still tons of money to be made going to thrift stores. Like, don't ever let anybody tell you, oh, thrift stores or garage sales are dead. Like, never listen to that person. But don't let people fool you and think it's not getting harder. So right. anytime you could find a way to get people to bring you inventory, you're going to be way ahead of the game. So let's talk about exactly what you do with a want ad. Like, you're obviously focused on toys. So what is this want ad? Say, how do you put it out there? I'm like, let's kind of share the whole process. Okay, so you start with Facebook. If you have a Facebook account already, you're good to go. So what you're gonna do is go to groups and search for groups. Um, what you wanna do is find tag sale groups of different towns around you. So okay, I started with my own town. And then what you wanna do is almost every town a lot of people don't know this, but has their own tag sale group. And if they don't start one up, because then you can own it. Exactly. And I know you did that a while. We sat down, when was that years ago when uh, you guys were at your old apartment in Manchester? I remember I visited and I think we started one up. We made a up. Hartford. Yeah. We made a Hartford. How many, how many members are a part of that now? I think like seven or 8,000. Yeah. So Actually, I sold that group. You sold it? <laughs> <laughs> you never told me that. How did you sell it for? A hundred bucks. And this guy reached out for me to me and he was like, he wanted the rights to the group because okay. he was like, he owned some business. But you can still do what you want to do in the group. You can still yeah, put yeah. out your postings and right, stuff. Right, right. Exactly. So you find Facebook groups. So um, whatever town you're in, do you want to find only tag sale groups that are associated with your town or maybe like a five mile radius? I do it. I do it with ones all over Connecticut, honestly. Okay. Um, and so I, there's about 40 to 50 groups that I'll put my want ad out in. All. So is it like copy and paste? You just go through and just... Yeah, I, I used a uh, poster maker. You don't get in trouble for doing that? Because no. like I know in like the reselling community, like if I was to like spam like one of my videos or something in like Rockstar Flippers group or somebody's group, like it's going to get ripped out immediately. Like it's probably one of the worst ways to build relationships. It's actually like somewhat disrespectful in our community. So how is that different with like the buy and sell trade? Is it different because there's no like real personal brand behind it? Okay. What's good about it is the tag sale groups are for people looking to sell their items. So uh, it's people posting items or posting stuff uh, they have for sale. That's adding value because they're trying to get rid of their junk. So I'm telling them what I will buy and that's going to bring them money and that's what they're looking for. So okay. that's, most of the groups will just tell me, okay, don't post it more than once a week because it clogs up the Do you have to either. build relationships with like the admins who are in charge of these groups? Usually not. They'll reach out to you if you piss them off enough. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. That, I've had a couple people be like, okay... Just uh, just bump your listing instead of reposting okay. it again or stuff like that. But they're usually cool about it. Cool. Um, and I get messages constantly. So how often are you? Actually, hold on. Before we talk about that, like, what does this want ad say? So you're focused on toys. So I'm focused on toys. So some people can take this and put it into their own niche, right? It's like copy paste. You can do anything you want. Like I said, I use a the app is simply called Poster Maker. Poster Maker on your phone. Okay. And it literally is a blank canvas, and I put wanted at the top in big bold letters, and then do bullet points of all the stuff I'm looking for, and then throw a few. This pictures. is really cool. It's all colorful <laughs> and stuff. And, and then got... throw a few pictures of like Nintendo games and Ninja Turtles or something to catch. Did you your split eye. test that, or you just made one and just it worked? I just made one. Of yeah. Them. Okay. So <laughs> I've changed it a few times over the years, but that's just something new. It's... So you create that. Make it colorful, bullet points of what I you're looking in, for. Do you have to be super specific in terms of what are you looking for? Like if you just say, I buy games, is that fine or I has, buy... It has to be 
a little more specific, but it depends on what you're looking for. Because I know for you, you say you buy vintage toys and you're specific with like certain types of items and gears that you're looking for. Right. Because I've seen your ad all over. (laughs) Essentially, but it really... This is all free as well. Like we're not running Facebook ads here, which a lot of people are thinking, I want to make that Yes, not an ad. You are not paying a thing. You are just utilizing social media. That's what it is. That's interesting. So... Which is huge. How often are you posting this in these 50 groups or so that you're a part of? Um, at least once a month, if not every Oh, month. I thought you were doing it more often. No, because then they wow. probably would start getting older. Okay, so, you, so every, this doesn't take a lot of work. You post it and kind of forget it for Right, and weeks. I'll still get people um, months months down the road who saw one, like an old one, and yeah. just was like, oh, I was finally cleaning my yeah. attic, remembered your ad yeah. that I saw however long ago, and reached out. So so when they reach out, they're, they're I'm assuming they're reaching out to you through Facebook. Yeah, right. yeah. Kind of like, you know, with like if you list something on Facebook Marketplace, I just listed some couches, people will actually contact you via Facebook, which is pretty cool. Correct. Yeah, it's mostly all through Facebook. Um, I do have, sometimes I set up at flea markets and stuff, yeah. and I had business cards printed that say some of the stuff I'm looking for. So yeah. that has email and phone number too. So. so right now, how many leads are you getting on average? Obviously, it's going to differ um, based on the season, I'm sure. But on average, how many leads are you getting maybe per day or per month by doing this strategy? It really goes up and down, but average... Yeah, give a range. Average per month, I probably get at least 20 people reaching out Okay, so maybe like once every other day or so. Right, which which is good. I mean, sometimes... It's not a lot of work in terms of... You might be thinking, oh, 20 leads isn't a ton, but all it takes is one lead that could probably pay you. Right, like we'll share big, some examples. the big He-Man lot that I bought recently. Yeah, share with people that lead that you got off of the Wanted ad, because okay. that, that'll, that's like insane. <laughs> I couldn't believe so, it. I had to drive... I had to drive... 25 minutes to a couple towns over. They um, reached out to you through? Through Facebook. Tell the story of how that worked. Okay, so once again, in July, this lady commented on one of my want ads in one of the tag sale groups. Um, she said, we have a lot of our kids' stuff from growing up, but we're not ready to part with it yet. We're just putting our feelers out and letting you know. <laughs> so flash forward to like a month ago, um, she contacted me through Messenger and she was like, my husband and I are putting our house on the market. Got to get rid of stuff. Would you like to come look through the old toys we have in our attic? I said, I'll be there. So <laughs> went out on a Saturday morning, um, went through the attic. I was essentially opening boxes, seeing what was on the top, and if it was of... So you get access to the whole attic? Yeah. No one there, no other resellers? Yeah. No, just me. <laughs> just me in the attic. Dirty dog. So uh, I'm essentially just opening boxes, and if I like the subject matter on the top, I put it to Got the it. side. Got I'm it. not... I don't have time to go you're through You're not sifting through everything, but you're pushing, okay, this is what I'm interested in, this is what I'm Especially because I already knew that she was motivated to get rid of it. So She ain't going to be putting it on eBay doing the <laughs> listings. Right, right. So I bring all the, these boxes downstairs, and then you get to the fun part. What would you like for it? Is that what you always say when you negotiate? Because we have no idea. Well, not we, I'm, I'm throwing myself in the story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes there, I know ahead of time like what they want. You can tell if they're like making comments about this goes that much on eBay or I know this is super hot seller. Right, and they weren't doing that at all. So just an they, average consumer just trying to clear stuff out. Right. So you bring all this stuff down. You've got well, how many boxes do you have at this point? It filled. I have a Subaru Forester, and it filled the back with like my seat with my seats full. <laughs> so you've got down. all like, this stuff here, and you're like, "What? What are you looking for? What do you want for this?" I'm like, "Yeah." So what were you? What were you looking to get? For do you this? have a number in your head of what you'd be willing to pay? I did. Yes. What was that number? And it was pretty high tell, because I knew. Tell it was everybody there. what it was. I, I legit probably would have paid about five hundred, okay. which. Which I was completely ready to do if I had to. Did you know that that one super special item that we're going to share with everybody was in there? I had no idea what, okay. what that was. Okay. So you're willing to pay 500 you ask them, Before, what, do you, what do you want to take? Right. They said, mostly because of volume. I yeah. knew that even if stuff didn't go for high dollar, I'd make good money because there was so much of yeah. it. Yeah. And I knew the subject matter. So I threw it out. Or I said, what would you like for all the stuff? And she said $100. <laughs> now, at so. that time, do you just instantly say yes, or do you try to pause for a second to make it seem like it's not too good of a deal? No, I was like, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I would have paid 500 but <laughs> no. I mean, I'm never going to be like, oh, yeah. I'll give you this much. I mean, they were looking to get rid of stuff. I was looking to buy it. They and... needed space to move in. So you took it for $100. Right. You like, I, up. like I said, that item, I did not know what it was when I... I didn't even know it was in the box, actually. So what is this item? Because people are watching like, just tell us, Steve, <laughs> Brandon, what is well, this item? If people saw my video, 
like I said, I didn't go through stuff in detail there. I brought it all home to the basement and then I shot a video. As yeah, he I has was... a haul video on his YouTube channel. I'll link up to that specific video, but watch it because you share the whole entire haul. And there, you guys are seeing it as I'm seeing it for the first time. So it's pretty cool. Wow. And um, so what the item was, was a huge original. So 1985-ish. Yeah. Um, He-Man Master of the Universe Eternia playset. It's like a huge play set that comes with a ton of pieces. You have to build it. And uh, it sold three days ago for $1,500. <laughs> what? $1,500? And that's only one item out of the lot that I bought wow. for $100. So you're already up $1,400 yeah. on that lot. How many more toys do you think you have? Hundreds. Crazy. So <laughs> I'm going to keep this story somewhat short, cut it off. If you guys want to you know, check out the haul, I'll link that video up. But that's just one example of... You know, opportunities that could come your way that you're never going to find at a thrift store. I mean, maybe from, from want ads. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just from literally a want ad. Just create an ad. Exactly what you're looking for. Be specific. What was that app that you used to create it? Uh, Poster Maker. Poster Maker. Create that. Find 20, 30, 40, whatever groups. Post. Obviously, beware that anytime you spam, there is a chance that you could probably get kicked out of a group. They'll give you a off. warning, or, and then tell you to read, read the guideline. Exactly. Be exactly. respectful. Feel it out. But at the end of the day, I feel like too many people follow the rules. They're just like, oh, this is like, got to follow the rules. But it's like, right. sometimes you got to break the rules a little bit to exactly. make some money. I'm not telling you to go out and spam like crazy. But if you post once a month and you get away with it or if you take some extra time to build relationships with some of these admins, at the end of the day, I don't like spamming that doesn't add value. As long as you're adding value and you're not taking advantage of people and like pushing it too far. Like right. if you're posting every day being an idiot, it's like, come yeah, on. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> but um, that's just one example. So create your wanted ads. Um, any final tips for the people getting I mean, started with the strategy? Just be be persistent and get out there and do it, man. Yeah. Because there's so much stuff to be found. Like I said, even – I'll add one more tip to this because it's it's not want ad, but it's, it's a way to source that a lot of people don't think about. It kind of ties in. This time of year, as the weather starts getting nicer, people start doing a lot of spring cleaning. And a lot of that includes um, throwing out a lot of their kids' old stuff – and stuff that we've been talking All about. All types honestly. of stuff, I'm sure. So, my advice to you on garbage night in your town: just take a drive around. You mm. never know what you'll find on the mm. side of the road. Cool. And I found some very cool things just from awesome driving around. <laughs> well, let us know if you've ever done that before. Drop a comment below. Let us know maybe some cool items you found while uh, doing a little uh, drive by garbage picking. Garbage <laughs> picking. So with that being said, uh, hopefully you guys found value in this video. If you did, do us a big favor and smash that like button down below. Subscribe for more videos. We're here over at Brandon's house shooting a bunch of videos today. So uh, we're going to be talking about, you know, we're, we, we just did a toy haul. We're going to be talking about selling toy parts, why you should sell toys, and why it's actually a pretty lucrative opportunity for people who are selling on eBay. And we're going to be talking about uh, tax sale the survival guide. So that should be a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. But with that being said, keep up making and making that money and we'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.